It's Suave, or you already know who we on. We out here. A very rare group. This is a very rare interview. Um, <laughs> I'm out here with my brother, Hella Sketchy, you know what I'm saying? What's good? Andrew Goach, the Goat. You know what I'm saying? It's Gooch, 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 Gooch. I already know y'all gonna be arguing about that soon, but like, yeah. Don't put that in there. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. You already did. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But yeah, we are here in Cali, LA, you know what I'm saying? Living it up. I'm so sorry for that thing I said, but being uh, my actual name is DeSave. Like, De Suave. Like, my name, S A U V E, it's literally the same with D and E in the front of it. So it's like suave, you know what I'm saying? Like, suave like the shampoo, but you switch the A and the U. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same shit. Like. <laughs> I'm from Houston, Texas, but uh, like I moved like outside of uh, Houston. It's like a suburb. Cypress. Everybody in Houston knows Cypress is, but yeah, I lived in Cypress for mo like most of my life. Opportunities. Being Definitely opportunities. Females too. There's a lot of beautiful I mean, there's, there's women. There's females everywhere. There's so. beautiful women everywhere. everywhere. All women are beautiful. But, but at LA is just, you know, it's just a different. It's a different, it's a different you know what I'm saying? We walk around. You, in Texas, you can see some, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Maybe. Uh, you'll see some <coughs> once in a while, but like the ones that you be looking at in Texas on Instagram, you see them walking around, like walking by you, like the models that you got. <coughs> like, I follow her. <laughs> But yeah, Cali I don't know, it has a lot of opportunities. It's a beautiful environment. People are here. There's good vibes. You can be who you want to be. And it's green freedom. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, growing up in Houston, it was crazy. It's very competitive. Like, uh, I didn't, even, I wasn't even a rapper. Hella people rap in Houston and shit. Like, I played football and basketball. I was like, a sp I was an athlete. And uh, like I had a good life. I mean, I had a hard life. My mom, you know what I'm saying. My mom's broke. She, we struggled. We used to live in a, a hotel, motel. You know what I'm saying. Like, but my mama came up because she's a hustler. She works hard. Uh, so she tried to make sure every, my life was better than her. Well, she was really going. But yeah, pretty much that. And then like, it's just the vibe out there in Houston. Like, hustle. Everybody moves. So when I moved to Austin, it's just like. Uh, a better environment for me to expand. Uh, lots of music, like Sade from my mom, uh, Biggie, Tupac, a fucking A Tribe Called Quest, Thanks. Tupac. That's like all the old stuff, Ice Cube, all that. But like new stuff, like probably like Travis Scott, Drake, Quavo. Migos, uh, Trippy Red, that's the guy. It's X, it's a lot of niggas out there. Tay K, shout out to Tay K, free money. Shout out Tay K for that's probably my favorite. Tay K, probably my favorite rapper Take right now. Like, I'll see on that. On some shit though. Hello, Travis Scott, uh, DJ Screw, Pimp C, Lil Flip, Mike Jones. <laughs> Like chameleon there, <laughs> like influence. They they the reason that the music I make is sounds the way it does it's because how I grew up, what you grew up listening to, like your frontal lobes that help you make decisions. Music is the only thing that can pass that. That's why you remember songs that you've heard one time. You can remember the melody. You can remember the lyrics. So like just growing up with that atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? Chopped like chopped and screwed music. Lean music, all of that. I was on some boom bap shit, and then like a uh, fucking Cardi, Cash Cardi. I found Cash this Cardi. wave. It's like I found this wave like 
the way everybody that's on now and that's famous. I was listening to them before that, before they was famous, DMing them, like, bro, you up next. Like, everybody listen to mainstream, I was listening to underground. You know what I mean? And, like, I watched them all come up, and, you know what I'm saying? It's inspiration. But, like, from that inspiration, I grew on my own lane, you know what I'm saying? Like, my own type of sound. I can make any type of music. So. It's a word for it. It's like a space word. I don't know. I don't even know. Like some shit like Interstellar. <laughs> it's like spacey. I don't know. It our sounds music, like an alien. Our music's different. Like, you don't usually make a lot of music that sounds the same. Yeah. Like, it always changes. It always too, changes. Which, it's which just which a lot. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the culture. <laughs> Hip hop, like, that's all we listen to in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to get hype, you know what I'm saying? We listen to good music, so we rap in locker rooms too, which transits into this. Partying, you know what I'm saying? Living a rock star life, a double life. Having to be like this, you know what I mean? Angel to the coaches and to the teachers, but living a double life in that nighttime where we're just girls. It's all about girls. We, you know what I'm saying? Drugs, like liquor. Getting turned up, you know what I mean? But yeah, that just like influenced me a lot because that was the reason why I stopped doing sports is because of it. Like it led me on the wrong path, but also it gave me a path that God wanted me to go to, music. Like my granny for a long time didn't want me to play football. I'm very good at football, but she didn't want me to play football because she didn't want me to get hurt. So music, she always used to say music. And I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. But I mean, if you think about it, music and rap, like music, rap, and sports merged. Skateboarding, music merged. It's like, so it's like, it was inevitable if I wasn't gonna be playing sport professionally that I would probably make music. Uh, it's just like, I used to always be up, like when I was making all this music for all the albums and stuff, I didn't drop music for a long time because I was just trying to perfect it. I always notice every time I look at the clock, I notice I'm like, oh, it's 4 a.m. I'm like, I'm like, damn. Like, another day that I gotta wait, you know what I mean? 4 a.m. Like, another day I gotta wait to do something until at nighttime, because I'm a nighttime person, you know what I'm saying? I'm celibate. I'm just being bro. Nah, women. That's my life. Bro, I love women. I love blonde women with a nice ass. Like she don't have that that much, you know what I'm saying? She can have whatever. If she do, that's a plus. <laughs> but I fuck with. I love white girls. That's my probably favorite. Then like Armenian and like I like Middle Eastern girls like with like blue eyes and shit. Like the you know the ones you see on Instagram, actually. like the Dubai girls, some exotic, some exotic <laughs> like island girls. But uh, shout out to my Nubian queens. I love me some chocolate. I love break, you know, they're all the girls. Female, I don't see races. I just see vagina. True. And if that True vagina is worth that ring, I'm going to put a ring on. I'm going to have to cut it, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I'll be getting some fire head. We like, I'm I'm might have, I might have to cut. I'm going to have to cut. Sometimes the, the head game be so on lock that you got to cut, but... But like, that's just your decision. Life, <laughs> there's multi-universes, for sure. Infinity, different possibilities. Like, if I picked up that cup, like that's a, that's a different, you know what I'm saying? Just little shit like opening a door that can affect your whole life, just one decision. So it's like, I just think I really, like, at the time, it's just time, it's just relativity, because it doesn't stop. It's just progression. Like, spores, think about a spore. You know what I'm saying, it grows. You get mountains, you get water, you get, you know what I'm saying, living species. So it's like, life is just anything that progresses. And it can also end, that's death. Life and death, yin and yang, you know what I'm saying? It's a balance, so like, Life to me is more of like what you make it, period. Because, like, 
I don't know what you're thinking. Maybe. You don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe. We don't know that, right? Because you only see in one perspective. You only see in the perspective of your own eyes and your situation and what you would do in a situation. So that's why people are quick to judge, too. But, like, life should just be about what you want it to be, period. Because you're your own person. Some people choose to help people. Some people choose to be selfish. Some people choose to be selfish and try to help people. Some people devote their whole life. They could have did. They could have got all the fame, fortune, and riches, but they chose to help people. You know what I mean? So it's just life is what you make it. Just keep pushing. Keep making music. Visual. Get everything in line. Get a team. Because you can't do it by yourself. You can't. You need a team. So build a team of people you trust, not just random people that you think can do stuff. Build a team, build a trust, get a circle, keep it tight. Accept outsiders if they, if there's, if it's benefits. If you can see they can help you and help you succeed, make connections, network, move around. Don't stay in the same spot because you'll stay in the same spot. You don't want to be stagnant. Never be stagnant. You always want to progress. You don't want to regress. You want to progress. Here we are, you know, Sam Swab. This is sketchy. We out here. Rarest faces. These are Shout some out of, rarest faces. Shout, Shout out rarest faces. faces. These are some of the rarest faces you'll see. So if you didn't watch this interview, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Suave Sidel, follow me on Instagram. S-A-U-V-E-S-I-D-L-E. My Twitter is D-E-S-A-U-V-E. That should probably be like right here or like right here or like it'll be in one of these spots. You know what I'm saying? It might probably, most likely, it'll probably be down here, all the ads. But if, if it's not, go to the description. Okay.